So what's going on everyone, and I'm sure you know, as of now in Sea of Thieves, Cursed Cannibals are actually available for everyone to use. And of course, this current week's challenge is actually getting kills with the Cursed Cannibals and actually getting ships with Cursed Cannibals. Now, the good thing about this is that we actually get to use these Cannibals, but the actual bad part is they're not actually that easy to find. And by that I mean, they do take a while to collect as many as you need to complete the challenges. So after finally finishing all the challenges, I thought maybe I'd make this video just to sort of maximize the time efficiency so you can get the most amount of cannonballs in the quickest amount of time. So what you're essentially going to want to do is you're going to want to find forts. Don't bother trying to find them from the islands. The only reason you'd probably want to get them from the islands is if you have a mission there or on the island you spawn on. Now actually in the video in a little bit, you actually see that I've actually marked where all the forts are. So feel free to use that as a guide if you want to find the closest one to wherever your current position is. Now this is entirely assuming that you're the first person to get to that fort and no one's actually looted the cannonballs before you. If that's the case, then you will be guaranteed to find at least four different types of cannibals on the fort. I've done this many a times and I've always found at least four. Now the reason I actually tell you to go to forts instead of islands is because most of the time you'll actually be going to small islands instead of big islands. Now of course, as far as we know and as far as I'm actually thinking this works, all these are actually RNG, so there's no actually set location of where these are going to spawn. And it seems the most amount of barrels in a small location is always a fort, so that essentially gives you mathematically the best chance of finding them. Now theoretically this has actually been around 99% right, um, not every single time I've done a fort I've actually found cannibals, but most of the time I have. Now of course whenever you spawn an island or an outpost or wherever, always check that for barrels, but I'm pretty sure you already do, because that's like the first thing that you do whenever you spawn into a game. And of course there's always a chance that you'll find some cursed cannibals in those barrels. Now, I'm sure you already know how the cursed cannibals work and what you really need to do, but just another refresher, if you're struggling for these challenges, I'd probably suggest go watch my previous video. But if you don't want to do that, I'll just pretty much sum it up quickly here. For the challenges, what you're probably going to want to do is actually go ahead and do Order of Souls missions, and for the sinking the crews, if you don't actually want to fight other people, you can just find skeleton ships, because it still works with them. It essentially doesn't matter with the ship one specifically, as long as another ship, even if they're in your alliance, as long as you hit them with a cursed cannibal, you'll still get that challenge done. Now this makes it extremely useful for people who don't feel like PvPing and people who don't really feel confident with attacking other people. You could always just talk with some people you're in an alliance with, or go over to a cursed ship event and then just essentially kill them. Now of course if you actually have any troubles finding a crew, feel free to go to my Discord, I do have a looking for crew option there, and yeah, so go there if you're interested. And actually while we're on the topic of Discord, I do want to give a massive shout out to everyone who's actually gone and commented on my music video teaser that I just released. A uh, massive thank you to you guys, you guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, that being said, I'm going to link all that below, so if you actually want to watch that, uh, feel free to leave a comment. And actually if you've been following the Discord, you know I might be doing some giveaways soon. So my big plan is once I get 5,000 subscribers, which isn't actually too far away considering how we're going too far, I'm going to drop a really, really nice little giveaway, nothing too big. And if we ever do make it a 10k, I plan on dropping like a massive giveaway, and that will be extremely insane. So if you want to stick around for that, and you want to be part of it, please feel free to subscribe and help us get to that level. And this will essentially be my way of sort of thanking everyone for all the support I've been having and just how absolutely mind-blowing it is because I really do enjoy having this and having so many people actually benefiting from my videos and yeah. Now people have actually been asking if they can use my music in videos and essentially if it's a free release, feel free. I do not mind. So a couple of my lo-fi stuff and it's all pretty much on my SoundCloud if you want to have a look at that. If it's free, feel free to use it but um, just do please give credit to me in the description or wherever you want to put it. And of course if you do use any of my music for a video, please do tag me in it and send it to me via Discord because I want to see that and I'm actually really keen to see what you guys actually produce. So without pushing it too far, thank you guys for your support and I thank everyone from the Discord and if you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and hit that subscribe and if you're interested, I'll see you in the next video. Whoa.